Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? We'll talk later. Commander. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the Collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh, 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 shh. Joker? I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. That's it for now. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Oriana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself, for what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister, a friend. Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused and she needs time to adjust to her new home. That's funny. I think of you as all business. Good to see that there's a person under there. The mission's too important to let personal feelings interfere. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. People are talking out there. And I hear it all. My heart goes out to Miranda and her sister. That's a rough situation. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. You know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? 
If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. Tight little group you got here. And a pretty nice ship. You'd be rich if you took to piracy. But you wouldn't. I can't figure you, Shepard. Doesn't matter. I've got to talk to you about something. I'd like to ask you a few things. Later. I have to talk to you now. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? I'll listen to anything you have to say, Jack. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors. The other kids. Every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't gonna see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. I'm going to talk to the elusive man and he'd better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragya where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll set a course for Pragya. I owe you, Shepard. I forgot how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, where the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. This was a secret Cerberus facility. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. This is unbelievable. The elusive man requested operation logs again. 
He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. But if he knew, he won't find out. Sounds like this facility went rogue. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. This looks like an arena. That's right. They used to stage fights here. Pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking. I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight. Filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Let's keep moving. Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me. The guards attacked me. The automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. This was a small facility. The other children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I made it out alive. I wish to be back here. I feel like... I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch. But then, I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Children here. It's a two-way mirror. My cell is on the other side. I could see all the other kids out here. I screamed at them for hours, and they always ignored me. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on Zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on. Harder and tougher. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Telton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's Ascension program. Hopefully. That will give... Who oh, what? Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Hey, Arash. It's Kirin. Yeah, the intruders are here. You want them dead? We have to talk creds. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. Then I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First, we're gonna kill you. Then, we'll see. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Arash is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. Come out. 
We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You'd do the same thing to new kids. Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that. Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here, go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed, but it's all different. I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. Never did any good. Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to stop coming back here. See the scarring on the wall here? That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay. No more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. New armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Needed to wipe that place off the map. 
You took me there to do it, and I owe you. You don't know what it's like, Shepard, to have garbage like that following you. It marks you in ways you... you don't expect. I've made a lot of hard choices, Jack. Like what to let go. Hard to walk away from it. You'd think it would get easier now that the place is a crater. But what else do I know? I never thought I'd see you show mercy, but you let Arresh live. He was trapped in the past, reliving it every day. You showed how that could be me. I'm not getting stuck like that. I'm better than him, and I'm sure as hell not carrying that crater around with me. Do you think you're different now? I know that place is gone. But I still kind of want to kill every person I see. No offense. I'll take what I can get with you, Jack. You did a lot, Shepard. Shit. I'm not good at this soft stuff. Just... Thanks, okay? Let's... Let's get back to work. wants to speak with you. Talk to him soon, alien. If we decide you're not welcome, you'll know just before we kill you. Get off this rock and show those Turians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on the mother still alive. Ah. Heard not clan reports use weak encryption. I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout. Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Halt. You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time. Shepard. Good enough? Excuse me. Okay, <laughs> out of my Shepard! My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the void couldn't hold you. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. Uh, you made the rise of Erdnot possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. 
Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. This sounds ambitious. How's it gone so far? Better than I'd feared. Worse than I'd hoped. It can't continue. You are going against what makes us strong. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka. But you're an exception. I'm looking for a Salarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We're making a neutral ground. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchanka, but you're an exception. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. Right on the extranet? That crap rots your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. Go away, alien. I talk to no one about our rights unless my clan leader wills it. Go away. The envoy to the female clans doesn't have to listen to aliens. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnok from Clan Nakmore. We're a small clan based in the Kratic Wastes. If Nakmore is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmore Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. Nice knife. Looks really... Silent.
and it'd fit in my hand perfectly. Maybe when we're done with the mayhem thing, I could come back and recover a thing or two. Good Baron. Stay. Greetings, human. My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are an nerd not Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Ring Call's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. What the hell is a pie jack? Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. I'm a good shot. Maybe I can help out with the pie jacks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the pie jack population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. I should go. Suit yourself. Down some real money, human. Seeing those vermin roasting in the heat from an explosive shell, I swear it was glorious. It was a lot of fun. Help yourself to more. There's no shortage of pie jocks out there if you get a craving for violence. I'll give you a discount at my store. Anything you want, you buy at cost. Do I look like I have time to talk? I've got work to do. Those fools brought this Tomka back from a skirmish without its combustion manifold. They say it got shot off in the field. You tell me, how can you expect a Tomka to run without a combustion manifold? I've never seen a Krogan mechanic before. What? You think we kidnap quarians and make them do the hard work? Not anymore, we don't. Any idea where I could find a combustion manifold? Yeah, I can make one. Give me three days and a barrel of ring call. The one they lost is probably still out in the field. It's too much to expect them to collect it and bring the damn thing back. I'm going out in the field. If I see a combustion manifold, I'll bring it back with me. If you did, it would save me a lot of work. Maybe bring back my sunny disposition. Let me get out of your way. Don't do me any favors. Krogan's hit by genophage. Nuclear assaults. Civil wars. Still survive. Impressive to see life adapt, continue despite circumstances. Inspiring. Who are you? I am Fortan, Lord High Researcher in matters scientific for Clan Erdnot. But I don't have time to answer your inane questions. I won't take up much of your valuable time. My work is very important, human. Of course it is. I'm just curious. I'd heard a lot about the genius of Krogan science. Oh, finally, someone understands. I swear I am among brainless piejacks here, toiling among satins. I am the Lord High Researcher. I take it you're a scientist. I used to be a scientist. I design weapons. Now my genius is wasted on frivolous things. Things that don't explode. My predecessor said no one would understand the true worth of my work. As I pulled my blade from his chest, I knew he was telling the truth. Not exactly what I would call effective academic peer review. I don't care what you'd call it. We value the will to use what we create, not just the ability to create it. We don't count success until the ground shakes in response. You must be working on something important. I was building the biggest, best offensive ordinance yet. A real ground pounder. But the new clan leader wastes my time with frivolous research. Crop genetics, medicinal improvements. We can buy that stuff from the Salarians. Salarians created genophage, I've heard. Still trust them with medicines and agriculture? Yeah, yeah. What else can the Salarians do to us at this point? It's not like they can make us even more infertile. 
Actually, wait, forget I said anything. Sounds like the new clan leader has some very different ideas on how to lead the Krogan. If you want to know more, talk to him directly. He's my leader. I'll not say anything else about him. Enjoy your research. Yes, yes, move along. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. So you're in charge of Erdnot's scouts. Why waste your time shooting at vermin? Ammunition is the one thing we're not hurting for on Tachanka. As scout commander, I have to set an example. Plus, the little bastards get into food supplies if their numbers get too high. Can't have that. Don't your storehouses have automated defenses? Why bother? Half of what we eat is vermin. And if we get hold of defense systems, we don't use them to guard grain. We've got weapons stockpiles to take care of. Beyond that, our women and children get the security. Taking care of your food supply would help more in the long run. If Clan Jordan kills our guards and helps itself to our well-secured food, there won't be a long term. This is Tachanka. Having power and clean water means we're living in luxury. You see a lot of action around here? Enough. Varen here and there, and snakes in any of the water safe enough to drink. Rex has made ceasefire agreements with some of the clans, but I still have to patrol, keep them honest. What does the scout commander do? We find out where the enemies are, and we make them think that there are too many of us to screw with. Sometimes that means harassing the perimeter, taking out a generator or two. Other times, we play hide and seek. We leave lots of tracks, exaggerate our numbers. That's not recon, that's sabotage. It's a lot easier to count their numbers once you blow some of them up. Everyone knows where Erdnot is, human. It's not like we can hide. Thanks for the information. Whatever. What do you want, human? You're crowding my hump. I'm looking for a Salarian. The Blood Pack captured him and he was last seen around here. I heard about that Solarian, poor bastard. If it's Blood Pack, then Clan Warlock has him. Sent one of my scouts to check it out, but he never reported back. Guess they got him, too. Chief told me to give you one of the trucks. Just follow the highway to Warlock's base, if you've got the quads to deal with him in the Blood Pack. What's Clan Warlock's reputation? And how are they involved with the Blood Pack? Tough humps. And they're not friendly, like we are. You ever run into the Blood Pack? Mercenary gang. Clan Warlock started it. One of the only gangs with an off-world presence. They're fanatics. Totally devoted to Warlock Guld. Whatever they did with your Solarian, Guld's behind it. What makes Guld so special? He's got two children. One of them is a girl. Some people think he's got a destiny. Not me. I had a cousin who won 20 consecutive games of Quasar. Lucky bastard. I'd ask my cousin for a loan, but I wouldn't swear allegiance to him. Luck. That's all it is. Same for Gold. What can you tell me about Clan Warlock's base? Last I heard, the clan was holed up in an old hospital. I haven't seen it, though. I've only seen Clan Warlock from a distance. If I'd gotten closer, I'd have taken a shot. You get inside, though, bring a big gun. Warlock's base is crawling with blood pack. That doesn't sound too defensible. Why'd they hole up there? Any hospital on Tachanka has to be built well enough to withstand a bunch of enraged Krogan. When an injury forces us to switch over to secondary organs, things get messy. Higher thought processes don't always transition properly. Blood rage, they call it. Any idea what they're doing with the Solarian? I assume they wanted to torture him. He don't take somebody home just to kill them. It's messy. Maybe he pissed off the blood pack, and they brought him here for special treatment. No skin off my hump what they'd do with him. One less alien on Tachanka. You don't seem to have much love lost for aliens. Don't get your quads in a twist. If I was gonna kill you, you'd know it. Rex believes we need to unite the Krogan people. I don't think we can do that with off-worlders interfering, but it's not my call.